Well, good morning, everyone, and uh, a warm welcome uh, to our UK friends to uh, and international guests to the Australian Pavilion. Um, uh, we're really excited to continue to deepen the relationship with the UK Space Agency. Um, I was really privileged in my first month uh, as head of the agency uh, to witness the signing of the first space bridge uh, at uh, Her Excellency's House High Commissioner Vicky Trigold. Um, and if I look back over the last three to four years, a, a lot has been achieved. Um, this uh, bridge was put in place to drive um, uh, trade and investment uh, between our, our nations, and we've seen that. And I really want to uh, commend, firstly, um, the UK Space Agency, the UK government, uh, for the International Bilateral Fund. Um, in the, the first phase of this fund, uh, the Australian government invested uh, $3 million uh, and that contributed to, to three important projects in areas such as agriculture for space uh, and water quality, which we'll talk to a little more. Um, and I'll, I'll leave it to Paul to talk about the future of uh, the IVF program. But it's also driven um, investment in trade shows. We've had business matching events. We've had delegations in the UK, delegations in Australia. And, and space is about relationships. And so the bridge has enabled uh, those relationships. Some of the stuff that's also enabled that might not be visible is regulatory cooperation. Uh, we are both developing space five ecosystems. How can we harmonize? How can we share lessons learned? Um, and that's been uh, another part um, of the bridge. So I really want to give my thanks um, to the UK Space Agency, uh, the Department uh, for Businesses Trade, um, Austrade here in Australia, and our team at the UK Space Agency for pulling together uh, the next iteration uh, of the Space Bridge. And um, we couldn't be thrilled to be, more thrilled to be signing this today. But I'll hand to um, Dr. Paul Bate to give some remarks. Enrico, thank you so much. And I know I'm speaking on behalf of the whole UK delegation uh, from the UK Space Agency, from colleagues in the Department for Science, Innovation and Technology, Department for Business and Trade and others. Uh, you are consummate hosts as well as consummate space professionals. Uh, we felt the warmth uh, of the invite and being here in Sydney. Uh, we stand in awe of Keegan's dress sense uh, and his ability to kind of convene uh, and bring the sort of the power of uh, IAC to the world in Sydney as well. We, we believe very strongly in the relationship between Australia and the UK. That probably goes without saying, it's one of our oldest relationships. Uh, but I want to bring that to life. We, we have much to learn from you. We have much to cooperate on, not just on sport, but on space. And the Space Bridge stands for something. It is a actually quite easy to sign these things, particularly first time round. You can sign an MOU, but to what, to what end? The Space Bridge, has driven our collaboration, it has led to tangible pieces of work that means that in both our countries water quality is better understood. The AquaWatch program that Australia is rightly proud of and which the UK now is able to participate in as a result of the work that was from the Space Bridge and now the International Bilateral Fund stands as testament to that. You have the challenges around the algae blooms in southern Australia, uh, we have very similar challenges in North May, in Windermere. Uh, and we can learn from each other and we can actually improve people's lives on Earth. Sometimes I think we have the challenge in space. People ask us, why are you spending the money in space when we have the issues down on Earth? And part of the explanation that not many of the dollars or the pounds are actually spent up in space. But more importantly, we are doing real work that benefits our communities and uh, benefits our society and our growth. So, the International Bilateral Fund has been something we've been able to celebrate. Uh, just this week at, at IAC uh, in Sydney, we've announced another £6.8 million pounds of investment. Uh, encourage all the successful uh, winners there, including five Australian proposals that were successful in a global competition, to get spending that money. We want to see that money spent by March 2026, so my time is tight. Uh, but we're really pleased we've been able to move from the original round of IBF to the second round which we're announcing, and there will be more to come. We've published to the UK government that we will be continuing this fund. But why don't we get on to the signing uh, and just to recall finally the value that we place as a country on this bridge between our countries. 